Hey, everybody. Here with uh, Mike Nimi. So we're going, we're going down the road. Uh, Mike took us up yesterday to the point of identifying businesses that he wanted to look into deeper to see if they could be a qualified lead and started gathering his information and the context he wants to reach out to. And now we're uh, here to pick up, talk about that qualifying process as he starts to, not the cold call yet, because he hasn't even fully qualified them, right? Nope. So these calls that he's about to make are part of the qualifying process, and he's going to walk us through on a pretty granular level because as we've talked through this, there's some, some real gems in there. So, Mike, all right, here you are. You got your contacts, right? Start walking us through those qualifying calls. Cool. So, like I said yesterday, I got, you know, I built out my list. I know the names of uh, at least three names from each department I'm going to call. So, I'm and sorry, I'm going to stop you there. It's to qualify, but also when you're calling these names, these folks to qualify, you're looking for what is it? I'm sorry? Certain information. Every okay. different department I have. I have a, I could, I, I could actually give you guys a template, but so I don't get super, super granular because if you've watched me by now, I can, I, I can go off on a, on a rant, but uh, you, yeah. you do you boo. It's fine. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it's, there's a lot of good information. People are watching this anyways. They're going to be uh, logistics and supply chain nerds like us anyway. So, <laughs> well, no, so, so, so I already have kind of, and even to this day, I've been doing it so long, but I still have, you know, again, it's, it's not natural just to constantly, you know, it, it's, it's muscle memory, but I always have a list on what I want to ask them. Right. And I, if it's food and beverage or, you know, CPG, and I know they're, you know, I know they're most likely going into, I say, don't do so much research, just call. But if I know they're going into some big box retailers, I'll kind of uh, position it into, you know, or mirror a, a company that I work with, some of the, some of the challenges they had and, 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 and so forth. And then ask questions based on, you know, based on that. But for, for, for the most part, the questions are pretty generic on every cold call, right? Again, it all goes back to having a, I don't, a script, but more or less, not scripted, but having a process and kind of constantly just keep it the same, keep it the same. If it's working, don't, I hate to say that, don't fix it, but meaning from a question standpoint. Sure. So I'm calling accounting, right? So first, I'm always calling accounting. So like I said is, you know, again, I like to be mindful of everyone's time, but my, my, my time as well. So I'll call accounting and like I told you before, right off the rip, I will say, hey, listen, um, Mike with Global Trans, I work on our managed transportation side of things. Um, <laughs> listen, and I'll laugh about it. Listen, I, I, I know you probably don't do any of the granular day-to-day -day stuff when it comes to shipping, but I'm mindful of your time. And from a financial standpoint, I know that, you know, you're handling, you know, the finances when it comes into paying the bills, running your team. And this is the controller. So I was just curious from a spend standpoint, because I only target companies that are a bare minimum of around $250,000. I just didn't want to waste anyone's time do you fall inside that wheelhouse? Okay, cool. And that's where I'll start asking a little bit more questions. Okay, cool. When you, you know, when you're getting invoice or you're getting, you know, billed, is it per shipment? Is it consolidated? Do you guys have any type of software to, to, you know, show you visibility when it comes into any type of metrics you guys are, are tracking? And that's where, again, they're not always cool, but that's where this, that's when they'll start opening up. It's like, okay, he's, He's talking about transportation, but he's not talking about transportation, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's good. I mean, you go right at it. You don't try to be too cute or too slick. You just, uh, it sounds like you're very direct and you speak a language that, that they speak, right? Because you, hey, how many truckloads do you do? Uh, how many, you know, shipments are you doing? They don't think in terms of that. Yeah, you sure said bills. bills. And that, I think, you know, I think that's, that's key. That's a good takeaway. Yeah. And then it, again, you can get super granular with it, 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 depending, right? I just, it, but I like to make everything quick. And if they're open, I have no problems. I'm going to, why wouldn't I want to sit on the phone with someone that wants to give me more information? Sure. More, more or less, it's like, you'll get a, yeah, I'm like, I was like, okay, so real quick though, when you, when you, when you're out, when you're allocating your bills, you say that you, you know, you're looking at the quoted versus bill. What happens when those don't match up? Oh, I got to call the shipping department or if they have multiple locations, I got to call that warehouse. They have to tell me, they have to approve it. I'm not paying until that's approved. It's just a hassle. I was like, wow, that, that sounds like a pain. Nobody in finance wants to call shipping. 
<laughs> it's just don't, True. nobody from shipping wants to get a call from finance. So it's like, I'm like, okay. And it's more or less, you know, chargebacks, any type of discrepancies. Okay, cool. Well, do you guys, uh, when you're, when it's all said and done, end of the month, you, you know, you're doing your, your, your monthly budgeting. Are you, you know, you're doing that manual, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Do you guys ever get like any type of reports on, you know, what was quoted, what was billed and how to fix it? Like a root cause analysis. Mm -hmm. We do, we try to, but no, we just end up saying, Hey, it's just pretty much the, the cost of doing business. Right. It's not, but yes, I get it. So you get where I'm going with that. Yeah. Do you ever, do you ask them about accessorials or additional chargebacks? I keep it high level where I'm just like, Hey, do you quoted versus bill? You were quoted 200, you were billed 500. Okay. That's when they say, Hey, I called the shipping department. We need to figure out what's going on. Who knows? It, it just, there's so many moving parts. And, and again, that's, it's talked about it, That's why I say is everything segmented, right? Every department that is some way, somehow dealing with the supply chain and transportation and ops should be collaborating. It's a lot smoother. Right. And that's my job. I don't, you know, it's not their fault. You only know what you know. Right. Yeah. So that's my job. So now I'm very detailed. Uh, I'm very detailed with notes, right? So I'm, I'm writing, I, in my CRM, as soon as I get off, talk to controller or talk to accounts payable, Mary. I'll even put little tidbits of like, they were super standoffish. They were, <laughs> you have to, right? Yeah. Of, I always say find the eel in the deal too. Quick. It's, it's, it's something I've always learned is like, you get someone that's like, no, we don't need that. There's no way. And if I'm talking to a controller and she or he is like, nope, we're good. We don't want that. It's like, okay, let's face it. It's like, if I want to date someone long term, <laughs> her friends have to like me. Yeah, you're getting, I, you're getting. I can, go to, I can go to the decision maker or the, or, or the person and <laughs> she can love me, but if her friends hate me. <laughs> then you're, then you're done. Yeah. yeah, you're, you're building up influence. You're building up a case. So you got, you got your finance piece. You got your information. Now, who do you go to next? Who I go to next is, I would say sales or transportation, right? Cause, uh, All right, let's say, let's say sales. What's that conversation like? That's quick. It's, it, that's more or less like, hey, man, or if it's a man, I'll say, but like, um, hey, listen, uh, I'll just go with my pitch. And I was like, listen, does transportation ever, you know, shipping costs or anything affect you from, you know, getting into new markets or losing a sale? And if they say, yeah, yeah, it does. Okay, well, how? And then you usually get, well, it just does. The prices are too high. Okay, cool. Well, real quick, again, putting price aside when, so say for instance, you have a potential customer and you're trying to accurately give them a, a price all in, right? Do you have access to your transportation rates or, or how do you even do that? No, Mike, we got to call out back and then we wait for them. Boom. Good enough. Awesome. You could sell a salesperson anything, right? So yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's like, I, I might throw it in there. Like, it's like, hey, listen, if I can actually give you access, I mean, do you guys have iPads? Yeah, cool. Some companies will let their, you know, want their team to be able to quote out stuff, or I'm just going to figure out a way or a solution to, to build that price already in there. So the sales team already has an accurate idea. They don't even have to think about it, right? Do what you're good at and sell and not have to deal with any type of, uh, set our, any type of shipping issues, right? Just be like, Hey, this is the price where we know we're profitable because on the back end, everything's running smooth. So sales, push that aside. Transportation. Now is the hard one. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you call? Every one of their mother's calling. Transportation. Yep. Everybody's I'm like, it's the, it's so what do you have on your dock today? What do you, what can I price out? That's what I'm you're more nervous calling shipping than I am the CEO of the company. That's because so many people splash the pot and that's what I appreciate you sharing your process. So we can kind of all, you know, all up our game. <laughs> right. It's like, as soon as I call and it's like, there's, it's, it's funny. They're, they're, not, they're just tone changes when they're so cool. And then all of a sudden you're like, well, who you with? I'm a global trans transportation company. We're good. We're good. <laughs> yeah. Vendor routed. We don't ship. <laughs> yeah, about it after I just talked to the controller so they did a million. Yeah. But no, I just, I'll start the conversation with them real quick. Like I, I try not, 
I, again, I, I don't want to be fancy. I'll just say it. Hey, listen, Mike, Global Trans, laugh. I know you're getting beat up. And I said this in the cold call video. I know you're getting beat up. Don't want to be on the carrier list. I don't, I, I don't do anything transactional. I'm sure you have great rates. I have like three questions for you. Do you mind if I, uh, do, you, do you mind if I just get like, give me two minutes. Usually if you can acknowledge that and like, again, have. There's some empathy right off the bat. Hold your ego to the side. Usually they're like, all right, you know, or, you know, just, just be direct. Quick. You got a TMS? No. Okay, cool. Uh, how are you? What's your process? When you receive an order right now, how are you doing that? Well, we quote out five different, uh, we, first we have to quote out five different uh, quotes before we can actually book them. That's a long time, right? <laughs> I already got enough information. I mean, and a lot of, and believe it or not, a lot of them are cool. cool. I, I know I say, hey, they don't want to talk to us, but when you open it up like, hey, I don't want to, I don't want to do anything. Uh, I don't want, I don't want freight. I don't need anything. I just want to like learn about your process. You're good to go. So, yeah. I mean, put, you know, if we put ourselves in their shoes and we know how much they're truly, it's not overstated. I mean, we've all sat there and had meetings with them and hear their phones, you know, just ringing. Um, and then sometimes, unfortunately, those calls they're getting are very almost aggressive. Like it, there's no relationship. It's just, well, transactional, right? Everybody and it's, says it's, they want relationships, but like at the end of the day, it goes both ways. But I, dude, you don't want to get me in this. You're no, I love this. talking about it. We can, we can go down this road another time. Cause I, I think we're aligned and it's a fascinating thing to, to talk about and to uh, dissect, but all right. So you've, uh, you've called finance, gathered your information. At this point, I'm good. Okay, so you, you, the uh, finance. Just, now, how about um, let's see, finance. I'm drawing a blank. Who'd you call? Uh, I could call technology sometimes. Our CSRs too. Like again, those are all. Say, I forgot. I left out sales, finance, sales, then transportation, and then so you call technology sometimes. Dude, I'll be honest. Like, I'm not gonna try to be like. I don't want to sit here and tell everyone like I am spending hours. Cold call and everything like yeah. You no, know, these sound like quick, quick hitter. Two, if I got enough five information, if I got enough information to uh, enough meat on the bone, as I would say, to call, I might call that executive that day. Like I had. Ask, so again, ask. let let's uh, flesh that out a little bit. What do you mean if you got enough information just to remind everyone what is your goal? Because remember, this was. Now we're getting a little semantics, but this wasn't the cold call yet. You were building a case to present to an executive in a cold call. They use multiple different, they use a mixture of different brokers or 3PLs and carriers. They don't have any strategic uh, idea on when they, on how to like negotiate rates. It's all manual processes on the front end. Back end, minimal to zero visibility when it comes into, you know, any type of metrics that are, you know, actually providing or driving value inside their company. They do, they, they hit the mark of spend. Cool. Now I'm just going to go, if that's enough, I don't need to get super granular with a, with any type of executive, right? Unless they want to, well, some do, but most don't, right? It's like, that's, that's, sure. what, that's what the discovery calls for, right? I just need don't. enough information to hook someone to realize, hey, this is, the, yeah, he could be right. He did his homework, but it's worth so it. So it's, it's, correct me if I'm wrong. It's not so much to hook someone, but stand out as different, kind of jar well, them a little not, bit. We are, we, at the end of the day, Jamin, we're salespeople. So I don't want to sit here and say like, we have to have, we have to hook, so we have to get someone's attention, right? I can't just say like, Hey, look cut, at me. cut through the noise and get their attention. 